Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, part number four of this React Native podcast tutorial. So in the last episode, we were able to uh, search uh, for podcasts in the search screen by hitting a GraphQL endpoint. Uh, everything was working well. It was just, I mean, you can just search and you get your result, etc. Now what we want, it's we want to be able to, when we click, I just try to kind of like follow what the uh, Apple podcast do and it just when you click on this 300 episode so the blue thing here you get jumped to a detailed page so what we're gonna do for this one is gonna be this thing so we want to be able to click on this 300 episode and jump back to this screen right there uh, and having the detail of this one uh, Right now, I'm pretty sure you see like we don't have any icon here, here where I say play last episode is going to be a play button and stuff like that. Don't worry, the next episode is going to be about inst uh, install the vector icon uh, library. It just, like I told you in uh, when we start, I just want to have, uh, when it's uh, we want to install a native library, I want to have an episode just for this one. So it's easier after that for me to, if someone get some issue with that because the library did change, I can just redo this episode. So in this one, we're gonna learn quite a lot because the thing is we use React Navigation 5 and we use TypeScript. So we're gonna need to learn how we can type our uh, navigation. Plus, I mean, it's, it's pretty nice to, uh, I think it's gonna be pretty nice. So, um, so we're gonna the way we're gonna start. It's the first thing we're gonna do. It's uh, create the screen. So uh, in the component directory, we're gonna create a new folder called podcast details. Inside the podcast detail, we're gonna create a new file called podcast detail screen. TSX because it's a React component. We're gonna just kind of scaffold the basic boilerplate we need. So podcast detail screen. We're gonna return. We're gonna import a box from React Native Design Utility. We're gonna already say take the flex one and we want the background color to be white. And finally, we're gonna export that at the end like that. Now we're gonna jump back to the main tab navigator where we have the search and we're gonna copy this line and here having the podcast details and here we're gonna have the podcast details screen now i want to be able to click here and jump into this screen so the way that work it's you go to the search till so the till it's one element and here we want to use a react hook a react navigation hook so you use cons navigation equal use navigation and I don't know why it's the only library where I need to say TypeScript to really importing that. I don't know why. Uh, everything about React Navigation, I need to do this. I don't know. <laughs> and now here, the navigation, I want to be able when we click on the episode. The thing is here, you can add that on press on the text. The only thing is you cannot kind of manage like the, the touchable area. So what I like to do in this case is just wrap this element inside a touchable opacity opacity this come from react native and on the on press we're gonna call navigation that navigate podcast details so the name of the screen we just create so here make sure this is the same name you use here and uh, I want to send some data so I'm gonna say the data is gonna be equal to uh, props that item uh, because we want to send the, uh, the 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 podcast himself. So now if I click, I'm getting there. So you see, I'm be I'm able to uh, go to the next screen. The thing is here, I don't want this title. The way that uh, we work, it's uh, you can come here, you can say option. And you say header title. I want that to be an empty string. So now that remove the title. Plus, you see the blue here is the native blue, but would be nice to have the same blue we use in our app. So here you can use a screen option and you can say T 
team uh, team color header team color and you pass it your team from your constant file and this is the blue light we always use and now that become the same blue light we use and you see that even put the title here you just i mean it's kind of our brand so now i want to be able to send those data and having uh, a type check on this the way that works it's if you read react navigation docs they talk about that inside the typescript uh, uh, documentation here type checking with typescript and the way that work i mean it's maybe not perfect what i'm gonna show you it just i figure out then it becomes sometimes too much complicated so I try to make it less complicated. So inside my navigator, I'm gonna create a file called types. If I can type types.ts. And this type here, this is where we're gonna just manage all the types of our navigation. This is where we put uh, all our params and everything. And now the way that work is you need to types the navigator himself and by navigator i mean we in our case we want to um, type the search stack navigator we're gonna want to type the uh, library everything and stuff like that but for now we we can just type the search stack and the one make it work it's i'm gonna say export type search stack uh, route uh, search tag route param list and this one here you need to type each of the screen you have so inside the search we have two screen we have the search and we have the podcast detail we're gonna start with the search the search have no types no 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 we don't have like params so we're gonna say undefined and this is not a comma this is a semicolon after that here we're gonna have our podcast details and for the podcast detail remember what when we push it here we push an object data we put an object with a key data with the um, uh, the podcast inside so we're gonna say data and here that's gonna be our search query search result now the way you can type this podcast detail screen it's here by creating a type. I call that I call that navigation props. A navigation param, sorry. And this thing is gonna be equal to a route props coming from your navigation native. And in this one you pass two arguments, okay? So if you look at route prop, you need to pass it the param list and you pass the route name. So for the param list, that's gonna be the search stack route param list and after that you need to say which screen this is so you see here if i do the autocomplete i can get the two screen we did got so here in this case i want to use the podcast detail and now what that let us to do it's here i can destruct the ring from use route and use route came from the same react navigation native and this one take a generic route props so here you can pass the navigation param we just create here and this thing return an object who here can have a params i'm gonna also make sure that it can be an empty object so uh, if the param is undefined i'm gonna at least have an empty object so now here i can receive the data you see now i get the autocomplete and just to show you that everything will work we're gonna use a text from the yeah, native design utility. And now here I can say uh, data that podcast name. And now we get the Joe Rogan experience. So we get the stuff from our navigation. It's pretty simple. The only thing it's uh, if you read the docs, it become kind of hard to understand everything. For me, I just try to make it simple. So the way that work, it's I put everything inside the same file. I think they talk about that there. Well, yeah, creating a separate type file where you put everything and you just start to type everything from there and you just uh, finally you should just type each of the stack I think that was, this is the way to go and this is the way I use on uh, some of my project and it go pretty well
Now we're gonna design that a bit. So if we look at the image, here it's a fully flat list. What I mean by that, it's this is not just the flat list. The flat list is not just the episode part here. If you do this, the thing is this thing don't gonna scroll. You want all the screen to scroll. So this thing need to be the list headers. And this thing's gonna be the list content. So to make it work, you start with the flat list from React Native. First thing, like we did in the last one, we're gonna fake some data and I'm gonna make it as a string just because I don't want to uh, uh, change the key extractor because remember, key extractor required to return a string. So I can just say ID like that. After that, we're gonna, um, for now, I'm gonna return no item. So I think that don't gonna crash, perfect. And now here we're gonna say list add our component. So for the list other component, I'm gonna use a React fragment. And we're gonna start with a box. And inside this box, this is where we're gonna start with the text. <coughs> Sorry about that. Well, we're gonna set that out at podcast name. Now you see, it's scrollable right there. And also we're gonna need to have an image. Also make sure you do the check because the thumbnail can be uh, undefined. And here for the URE, we're gonna put the data that thumbnail. And now, a question, so I would like you to stop if you can. It's why you think the image don't appear when I put the data thumbnail? And yes, we have an image here. So if you can just think about that, that would be nice. But if you want to know, the answer is gonna be, uh, it's because it came from the web. So when an image came from your device, you don't need to put any, uh, a size, but when the image it's coming from the web and stuff like that from the outside, you need to pass it some uh, uh, size. So for that, I'm gonna create uh, a style sheet object and I'm gonna call that thumbnail. So the way that's gonna work, it's pretty simple. So we, get, we say, S equals style sheet create. We're gonna go with thumbnail. And for now, I'm gonna put a height of 100, width of 100, and a border radius of 10. Now if I do this, you see now the image, it's appearing. After that, I want, if we look in the preview, we want the image in the left and we want the text in the right. The way that work, it's pretty simple. It's this box need to have a flex direction row. Just by doing this, you make it work. After that, you see, we touch the edge. I don't want that. So we want some padding left and right. So PX for padding uh, horizontal. And we're gonna use small. After that, I don't want to touch the top like that. So for that, we're gonna use a margin top of small. Also, one to have my margin bottom to medium so everything after this box gonna have some padding at the bottom and remember if you want to see the size you just go here to the space and small it's 16 medium it's 24. after that i want this image to have some spacing with this title so i'm gonna wrap this thing with the margin right and if you don't want to use the thing from the team you can just put the number you want right there so 10. after that here i want the text to be size large and i want it to be bold and remember okay what i told you in the last one if we add other text you see we go further than the uh, padding and the reason is because we need to wrap this text inside a box who have flex one. By doing this, you make sure you don't gonna go further like that. After that, we're gonna have another text here where we're gonna put the data that artist. So in this case, it's gonna be Joe Rogan. 
for the size we want to use x small in our case it's 12 and the color is going to be gray and after that we're going to use another text here where we're going to type subscribe like i told you i i follow kind of like the uh, apple podcast for us that's going to be a button where you can subscribe later and for the color we're going to use our branding blue the size is going to be small uh, x, uh, x small so it's 12. so it's finished for this part now what we want it's having another part where we're gonna have a playlist episode so make sure you are outside of this box we're gonna use the same padding so x small um, you can have put just the box here x small padding x small everything would have worked you just i don't know i like to have more control here we're gonna just say play last episode Oh, don't worry in the future that's going to be the button with the icon after that i want another margin bottom medium so 24. now i can add another box and in this case we just want to type episode so padding small margin bottom medium text it's going to be bold size large and we type episode like that so now we did finish this portion right there so now we can start uh, designing a, a till and the way that we're gonna work with that is gonna be pretty simple again so for the till we want to put here a text where we're gonna say Friday now you see we touch uh, the edge and the reason why okay also if you ask why i didn't put it at the top the padding it's because i don't want my scroll view to have this scrolling indicator having a margin from the left and right because this indicator don't go to the edge of the screen it go to the edge of the flat list so if you put a, a padding you force the flat list to be smaller from the edge and now that's why so never put that at the top because else you're gonna get stuck with this thing so here you just put it right in the element and now you're good to go after that for the friday the size is going to be x small the color is going to be gray but the thing is here i want to make sure my friday is in uppercase so in um, uh, in uh, webstorm i can just say two uppercase and now you see we get friday like that after that we want another text where here we're going to put the number of the episode so 400 and that's gonna be the title it's gonna be there I want that to be bold again if you ask what is the size of this text by default remember in the team text base 16 so by default the text is 16 okay after that here we want to put another text where here that's gonna be the summary we want the size to be small so 14 color to be gray And now here we're gonna put some uh, fake test, uh, text. So uh, if you go to this website, lipsum.com, uh, you take just one of the text. It's just some fake data, so you can just paste. Now if I paste that, you see we get a bunch of text. It's too much for the summary. The way you can control that, just by saying number of line two. So you force React Native to don't go further than two line. After that, they add the three dot dot. So they truncate the text for us. So now we're gonna have another text here where we're gonna say inside a size small, ooh, it's 14, color gray. And we're gonna say here three hour, uh, I don't know, 13 minutes. So here is the episode time. Now one of the issue is we don't have like this line I did put in the example because we need to add this and this thing it's item separator so this thing need to be a box where here we're gonna take the full width and we're gonna have a padding of small and inside that we're gonna have one box and for the style we're gonna have a height and for the height that's gonna be the airline width I'm gonna tell you what is that after this and for the gray we're gonna use if you go to the team 
I'm just choosing the gray lighter here. So E0, E0, E0. And now we get this thing. And just also to make sure we're gonna put MY SM. So MY mean margin top and bottom. SM it's uh, 16. So we get a bit more space. So for the early and width, if you click on that, it's this content, actually, um, as the width of the thin line of the platform. So it's the smallest line you can get of the platform. So uh, I think it's pretty nice because one pixel sometimes it's too much. So, and I like this one. And yeah, and now you see, we are able to get this thing. If I search for another one, you see like that, like this. Now if I search for full stack radio, I get that right there. Also, if we search for uh, syntax FM, I think. Syntax that FM. Oh, so this is something we need to fix here. But you see here we have the um, West Boss stuff. So you click here, you're gonna have access to uh, his uh, Epizan. So it's really, really nice. Uh, you see everything work really well. So now in the next episode, so the for the first, uh, the uh, next two episodes, the first one is gonna be about putting React Native vector icon. So it's a library rule where you can get lot of uh, SVG icon and stuff like that from, uh, not SVG, but a lot of icon from like uh, font also material and stuff like that. Um, and uh, it's not that hard to install, but I get so many issues with this library, it's crazy. And after that, for the other episode, after that, it's gonna be to do a uh, query with the GraphQL uh, API, where we're gonna be able to get hear the less of the episode of this uh, podcast and all that going to be just managed by the fact that we have access to the feed URL. So inside that, if we do data, we have access to feed URL. So we're going to use that to be able to fetch the stuff from our GraphQL layer. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, the code is going to be in the description. Uh, it's going to be in the part four. So uh, if you have any question, let me know in the comments. Also, please subscribe if you didn't. And also click the like button if uh, that was good. So have a good day, everyone. Bye.